Robert Murray's making aluminum air batteries. Okay, challenge accepted. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. The only channel on YouTube you're not allowed to watch with laces in your shoes. So, Robert Murray uh, Smith has a great YouTube channel. He's a very smart man. And uh, as a matter of fact, he'll probably get an award at some point for his graphene work. Um, so, basically, I saw him do an aluminum air cell. I've seen many people do aluminum air cells. Um, basically, what it comes down to, after building this device building these cells, putting them all together. I really don't see a difference between them and wet uh, and wet crystal cells. Uh, they're still a galvanic reaction. You're using an electrolyte, um, and then you're inducing a current. You have two dissimilar metals. Um, the difference with uh, my design of a, of a wet cell and this design is you're using aluminum and copper, which doesn't make it any different than any battery that's ever been before in an electrolyte. But since Robert Murray does a lot of uh, graphene work, he, he gets he gets to use the good stuff. He uses uh, some graphene and really gets some good good current out of it. And uh, so basically, what it all comes down to is is I need some graphene to do the same thing he does. But nonetheless, uh, I came up with something myself. And so basically, I'm just going to show you guys how it's done, how it's going, uh, how to put one individual cell together. And I'll show you what my device looks like. Um, they're real simple and easy to make. All you need is activated carbon, um, salt, tap water, and uh, aluminum foil. So you take your aluminum foil, you lay it down flat, uh, you put a paper towel down, you put some activated carbon on there, you put a copper wire inside there, you fold it over so it doesn't, so you don't uh, make continuity in between the activated car carbon and the aluminum. When you fold it over, you make sure you wet it down first. You fold it over, make it all nice and tight. You'll get a current between that wire and that uh, piece of aluminum, which is well and good, but I'm not seeing where they, they really drive forward anything. However, what I do like about it is using a simple uh, electrolyte, you can get some pretty good current out of, my, out of them. Uh, so I made a nine cell light. Uh, so let me show you guys that real quick. Okay, so this is a real simple setup. The centers are made out of an aluminum spike for your gutter. The outside is a copper pipe, essentially. It's got a little balled over cap at the bottom. Uh, to make continuity in series between each cell, I used some mag wire for my MIG welder. Uh, and everything went together nice and it's putting out some good current. So let's go take a look at it in the dark. So the thing that was striking to me is not that it's not doing anything unusual. It's just that the amount of cells I had to use to do the same thing that I normally would do with about a four cell crystal cell battery. Not saying that the, either one is any better than the other. I am just know that the cells that I've made before... I can do basically the same thing in about four cells. So the best thing to do right now is just kind of show you the clips of how I put it all together. It's a basic understanding of what exactly I did. And there's a couple, I don't know, I bet you there's got to be at least three or four dozen different types of aluminum air cells you can do. I mean, I've seen people wrap magnesium around uh, carbon rods. Uh, people use cases of CD cases and aluminum foil. And, you know, and then Robert Murray, he likes to use uh, uh, graphene. So, let's get into it and uh, get going. So, you're going to need some activated carbon. You're going to need a copper pipe. A aluminum source. No salt. And iodized salt. You don't need the no salt. I just know that it gives you a little more current. You're also going to need... Some tap water, a dripper, and uh, painter's tape. Okay, so we're going to take this guy. And we're going to use some of this uh, 
Because this is a uh, painter's tape. And what we're going to do is we're going to carefully wrap this. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way to the top. So, just going to wrap it around. So that's the first line. And when I start the second line, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put it right on top of it like that so it overlaps. And that's that. So we go from there all the way to the end. I'll show you what it's like when it's done. That's that. See, so it's just a little tiny tip. Right? We have this whole thing right here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that rod and we're going to put it inside the copper pipe and we're going to fill it with some carbon. So I'm going to put some out at the bottom, measure it out so that way the rod is sticking out far enough for me to make the series cells properly. Kind of just fill it up and tamp it down a little bit as I go along. Um, this is just to make sure I don't have any gaps in the uh, carbon. Uh, oh, and by the way, activated carbon, you can find at any pet store. It's real simple to find. It's nothing super special. I've heard you can even use um, charcoal from your fireplace. So... Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our tap water and we're, we have to treat it now. So we got to make it salt water essentially. So I'm using iodized salt and no salt here. And of course I have a big jar of it um, or a big bowl of it. I put about five or six tablespoons in here. You know, you just want it to be um, highly concentrated is really what you want to do. The more, the more concentrated it is, the better it's going to work. So just go ahead, give it a good mix. Make sure it's all set and ready to go. And then I just take my dropper and I put a couple drops in the top of the cell and make sure that the, uh, the, the painter's tape gets good and saturated because that's what you need. You need that electrolyte to saturate that paper so that way it starts uh, conducting the, uh, uh, the electrons through it into the, everything that needs to be done. Once you get that done, you go ahead and you take them all and you make sure you have the, uh, the, the aluminum's going to be your negative, the copper's going to be your positive, so you take them in series with each other. So you uh, go negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive, all the way across the entire, however many cells you want to use. And you can keep going with exactly that till cows come home if you want to. I mean, there's no reason you couldn't make an array of them, maybe the size of... Uh, I don't know, maybe a table or something and, and run your house with them. I mean, you could if you wanted to. Um, but the point is, is uh, it's a cool thing to know how to do, especially if maybe the power goes out or something like that. You can charge a cell phone with them. I've seen that done. Um, it's just a matter of making sure it's ready to go for when you need it. Um, I did not drill any holes into the pipe. I might do that later, but... I just want to see how long they last now as they sit. And then also too, um, the thing that I do kind of like about it is since it's just water at, or salt water, it should last for quite some time. So I'm kind of want to see how long it's going to last saturated the way that it is before I go and mess with anything that I've done. Uh, and so basically, that's uh, really about it. Um, it's something cool, something great. I would probably label this as free energy um, because once it's built, it's going to last for quite some time. Um, it doesn't cost, it's not super expensive, maybe $30, $40 once you get all the parts all together for it. Um, you can do it in about a day. Uh, it doesn't take super long to do. And, uh, you know, then you'll have something waiting around for when the power does go out. 
Um, that all being said, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Also, please check out my Facebook page. Links are in the description. Also to uh, Robert Murray's page.